Old Time Hockey presents Top 10 Best Hockey Movies of All Time. Number 10. Goalie is based on the true story of Detroit Red Wings legend and Hall of Famer Terry Sawchuck. The story follows Sawchuck as a young child growing up in rural Saskatchewan, eventually playing in the juniors, and then making it to the NHL. The film portrays the ups and downs of his career as well as his personal life. The film stars Mark O'Brien as Terry Sawchuck, Georgina Riley as his wife Pat, and Kevin Pollock as a general manager at Jack Adams. It's a good movie and I think it really tells the story of Terry Sawchuck from his childhood all the way to the end of his career. The only thing I did not enjoy about this movie was the filmmakers did not get the rights to the real uniforms and logos and it just kind of puts you off not seeing those real logos uh, especially with the Montreal Canadiens being a horseshoe for their logo for some odd reason I guess there's lots of cowboys in Quebec number nine Slapshot is a 1977 comedy drama about a struggling minor league hockey team led by their player coach, Reg Dunlop, played by legendary actor Paul Newman. The story follows the fictitious Charlestown Chiefs, who struggle to sell tickets, amid rumors of the team being shut down and sold. This was common throughout the 60s and 70s in minor hockey, as teams sprung up and seemed to fold overnight in most cities. Much like the real-life Jonestown Jets, who the Chiefs were partially based off of. In order to get more fans in the seats, the team reverts back to old-time hockey like Eddie Shore, where an emphasis on on-ice antics and fighting became more important than scoring goals and winning games. This was made evident by the owner of the team bringing in the Hansen brothers, played by real-life hockey players Dave Hansen and two brothers Jeff and Steve Carlson. During the time of release, the movie received an R rating for its vulgar language, which by today's standards is not too bad, but still fairly offensive. All in all, it's a good hockey movie that depicts what the minor leagues were like at the time. And the movie also spawned two sequels. Slapshot 2 in 2002, starring Stephen Baldwin and Gary Busey, as well as the three returning Hanson brothers. And in 2008, Slapshot 3, The Junior League, starring Grayston Holt, The Hanson Brothers, and a guest appearance by Leslie Nielsen. Number 8. Mystery Alaska is a 1999 comedy starring Russell Crowe, and is about the residents of a small Alaska town that gets turned upside down when news that they've been selected to host a televised event against the New York Rangers. Alongside Russell Crowe, the movie stars Hank Azaria, Mary McCormick, Burt Reynolds, Cole Meany, Scott Grimes, Kevin Durand, and Michael McKean. The film shows what it's like to live in small rural Alaska, where the weekly hockey game is much more of a ritual than it is just entertainment. It's definitely a fun watch. Not only does it have some great hockey scenes, but the movie has a great story behind it. Number 7 Net Worth is a 1995 drama based on the true story of Detroit Red Wings Ted Lindsay, a nine-time NHL All-Star who, along with Doug Harvey of the Montreal Canadiens, headed up a small group of players in battle to protect players' rights against the monopolistic NHL owners of the 1950s. The film mainly focuses on the conflict between Ted Lindsay and Detroit's general manager Jack Adams, as well as Lindsay's struggle to win over the trust and support of the players, including Lindsay's longtime teammate, the legendary Gordie Howe. Amidst coercion and threats from the league and the owners, Lindsay's efforts would ultimately result in the formation of the NHL Players Association. The film stars Aidan Devine as Ted Lindsay and Kevin Conway as the legendary Mr. Hockey, Gordie Howe, and Al Waxman as Detroit General Manager Jack Adams. 
Number six. Mr. Hockey, The Gordie Howe Story is a 2013 film depicting the events that started in the 1973 WHA season when a 44-year-old Gordie Howe returns to the ice for the rival league to the NHL. The film focuses a short time on his off-ice front office career in Detroit, but how being dissatisfied with not playing hockey anymore decides to lace up the skates and return to the ice. The film also focuses on his family life with his wife Colleen, his daughter, and his two sons, Mark and Marty, who were soon drafted to the Houston Arrows of the World Hockey Association. The film stars Michael Shanks as the titular character, Kathleen Robertson as his wife Colleen, and playing the parts of Mark and Marty Howe are Riley and Jonesy, Dylan Playfair, and Andrew Herr of Letterkenny. It's a great movie to check out, especially if you're not familiar with what Gordie Howe did after his playing days in the NHL were over. And it's definitely cool to see Riley and Jonesy play serious characters before their Letterkenny days. Number 5. The Rocket is a 2005 biopic chronicling the life of Maurice the Rocket Richard. It follows him as a young machinist in the late 1930s with a dream of playing for the Montreal Canadiens. His talent and skill would soon earn him a spot with the Canadiens. Throughout the 40s, Richard would battle through many injuries, which would cost him the confidence of his teammates and the fans. Richard would, however, prove all the doubters wrong, as his skillful play and aggressive style would make him one of the greatest players of all time. However, for all of his success, Richard and his fellow French Canadians faced constant discrimination in a league dominated by the English speaking. This would culminate in the 1955 season where Richard became very outspoken against the discrimination of French Canadian players in the league, which would result in his suspension and the ethnic riots would ensue. Roy Dupuis who plays Maurice Richard, does a wonderful job in this movie, along with Stephen McHattie playing Dick Irvin. It really told a lot of the history of Richard that you wouldn't really necessarily read in the history books or in the press. Even though most of the movie is subtitled, it's definitely worth a watch. Number four. What can you say about the Mighty Ducks? This 1992 comedy starring Emilio Estevez and a young Joshua Jackson. Definitely a great family-friendly movie, as were a lot of sports movies at the time. Definitely reminds you of The Sandlot, The Rookie, and Big Green. The success of the movie spawned two sequels, an animated series and movie, and a new series premiering on Disney Plus in 2021. Number 3. Miracle was a 2004 drama biopic starring Kurt Russell as Herb Brooks, the coach for the 1980 U.S. Olympic gold medal team. Obviously, the film centers around the Miracle on Ice, which took place in the 1980 Lake Placid Olympics, where Team USA, who overcame much adversity to beat the seemingly undefeatable Russians. Alongside Russell stars Patricia Clarkson as Herb's wife Patty, and Noah Emmerich as assistant coach Craig Patrick, along with a great young cast who truly make you believe you are watching the real 1980 Miracle on Ice. This movie definitely goes along with a lot of inspirational sports movies of the time, such as Invincible, Remember the Titans, and We Are Marshall. And by the end, even as a Canadian, I find myself rooting for Team USA. This is definitely one of my most favorite sports movies of all times, right up there with Rudy and Hoosiers. Number two. Goon was a 2011 comedy starring Sean William Scott as Doug Glatt, who was labeled an outcast by his brainy family. He was a bouncer who overcame long odds to lead a team of underperforming misfits to semi-pro hockey glory, beating the crap out of everything that stands in his way. This movie had an excellent cast that also featured Jay Baruchel, Allison Pill, Liev Schreiber, Eugene Levy, and Kim Coates. 
As a hockey fan, this movie is hilarious. From the opening scene to the end credits, you will never stop laughing. It's just such a great movie that tells what the life of a semi-pro hockey player in Canada is. The film was so popular and so well received that it actually got a sequel in 2017 called Goon 2 Last of the Enforcers, which saw all the major cast members returning, as well as Alicia Cuthbert and Wyatt Russell joining the cast. If you're in the mood for some blood, guts, and laughs, definitely check out Goon 1 and Goon 2. So good that they have to be the number two spot on this list. Number one. Keep your head up, kid. The Don Cherry Story and The Wrath of Grapes. The Don Cherry Story Part 2. Were two made-for-TV movies that aired in 2010 and 2012, respectively. Both films star Letterkenny star Jared Kiso as Don Cherry. Both films chronicle his time growing up, his time in the junior leagues, the NHL, the minor leagues, his coaching career, as well as his broadcast career with the CBC. This is not only the best hockey movies of all time, but in my opinion, the best sports movies out there. Jared Kiso probably does the best Don Cherry impression other than Don Cherry himself. The film is wonderfully written, excellently paced, and really tells the real-life story of Don Cherry and his family. Not really a big cast to speak of, but once you see Stephen McHattie portray Eddie Shore in his unorthodox and ruthless coaching and ownership strategies, you will definitely want the CBC to make a movie about the real-life Eddie Shore next. A two-part movie event. Get up! We'll get him in overtime. The riveting inside story of hockey legend Don Cherry. Coaches are hired to be fired. Turbulent, triumphant, and touching. Hello, Don. Hi, Rose. Jared Kiso stars as Don Cherry in the gripping two-part series, Keep Your Head Up, Kid, The Don Cherry Story. 